Hello guys, this is Frank from the BI Forums, and in this Armor 3 video we'll be doing another episode of Optimizing Armor, which is a series I'm doing, finding out interesting new ways to optimize our Armor 3 scripts. And in this episode, we'll be doing white spaces, how to optimize the usage of white spaces in our Armor 3 script. So what is a white space? A white space is essentially a space when you press the space bar in your script, or when you press the tab key, and also when you press the enter key creating new lines. Those are examples of white spaces. Now. We'll be using my add-on free armor radio script as a template for this demonstration and to go over what needless white spaces are, which is something I dubbed, is basically a needless white space is essentially a white space that isn't required for the for the functionality of the block of code or command. So for example, let's look at line 14 and pay attention to the white spaces in that are used in this selected line of code. And let's look at this version here. And for the record, this this script right here is the optimized version of the script that doesn't have nearly as many needless white spaces, whereas this is the unoptimized version of version of the script that has many more needless white spaces. So anyway, like I said, look at line 14, look at those white spaces there that are used, and now look at this version. Both versions, by the way, work just fine. They both function in the game just fine. However, this is just more optimized under the hood, I guess you could say. So let's look at this again, the unoptimized version of the script that has many more needless white spaces, and I'll point out the white spaces for you guys here. So we have a, a, a function right here, then we have a white space, an operand, then another white space, another operand, or whatever you would call this, and then a space, and then blah blah blah. You get what I'm saying. But well, we have needless white spaces here. And they are not necessary. And so that's why they are needless, in my opinion. And by deleting all these needless white spaces, we then get a much more optimized script in, in a few ways. So by removing all of the needless white spaces, we optimize the file size of the script, which in turn optimizes the file size of the mission, which then in turn makes the script run faster and the mission load faster. So the script will run faster, load faster, the mission will load faster, and on top of that, because it is a le lesser file size, it will also make loading into the mission, if it's a multiplayer mission, faster for, for clients who are connecting and then they have to download the mission. It's a little bit less kilobytes that they'll have to download, so in that sense, it is also an optimization there. And of course, the script will run faster because of there being less characters for it to check for and load into the memory or whatever. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully uh, you can understand that. Of course, though... This is a very minuscule optimization in the sense that it's not going to be saving a lot of time or improving the performance dramatically. However, it is an optimization nonetheless because this is Arma. It is a game that needs every optimization it can get. And so every optimization on your part as the, as the scripter really makes a difference in the end, especially when you apply this... Uh, or mission. You don't have to be a scripter, but also a mission designer also. But every optimization you apply is an, op an optimization overall that really contributes to the overall Im impact. So, to explain what I mean is that these optimizations may not be so large and when you optimize just one script, but when you optimize all the scripts in your mission, assuming it's a mission that uses many scripts, for example, my Takistan Insurgency mission uses many scripts, and when you optimize them all, excuse me, when you optimize all of your scripts in your mission, it does make a pretty big improvement in the way it loads and in the way it just in the in the file size and stuff like that. So anyway, let's give you guys another look here at the rest of the code. This is the compressed version that is more optimized. Some people might find this to be harder to read than this version. And that's really the only reason why people use those needless white spaces is to make the script more readable. So which is a common practice in professional programming and scripting is because you're not going to be the only person who's going to be looking at that script or whatever. You're going to have other programmers that you're working with usually or if other people have to look at it in the future, they have to be able the code has to be legible enough for other people to look at it quickly and decipher it and blah blah blah. But for me, I don't know, I I honestly find this much easier to read and it's not because I wrote it. I do this, I optimize all of the scripts in my, my Takasan Insurgency mission, even the ones that I haven't written by myself, and I, I optimize them by removing all of the needless white spaces, and I just find it much more convenient to read and stuff like that when it's more compressed. But that's just me. Uh, I, I think even the Java programming language is more compressed, is like just naturally more compressed. I could be mistaken, but yeah. So if you work with Java, then this should be 
you know, right up your alley. Anyway, I don't want to go too much about this tangent on how to optimize white spaces. You guys get the idea. I'll give you an ex uh, just allow you guys to look at the rest of this code here. So you could get an idea of like what's needless. For example, the spaces in between these, this command here, and then the space, and then there's an operand, then another space. It's, n it's needless. It's not required for the functionality of the script. Some white spaces are required. For example, I believe we do, we can, if we put a space here, so if and then exclamation point, space, this would break this, this command right here. So we have to leave that. We probably could put a space there, but I don't want to risk it. Anyway, you guys get the idea. It works just, both scripts work just fine. But one is more optimized under the hood than the other. And it's, like I said, it's very minuscule, but when you apply all of these little optimizations that I go over my, on my channel for all the scripts in your mission, it really does make it an impact in the end. At least when you have many scripts being used in your mission, it does make an impact. So I'm sure a lot of you will complain and say, it's not worth my time. And it's, this is not supposed to be worth your time as a programmer or scripter. Making your code compressed like this isn't for your sake. Optimizing your code isn't for you, it is for the experience, or the gameplay experience of people playing your mission or using your scripts. It, it, I, don't, I don't understand this mentality that people have where it's like, it has to look pretty, otherwise I won't publish it. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. All my scripts look terrible as far as, you know, the way they're, they look and are presented, but they work just fine and are more optimized in many ways. So, so for example, we have these variable names, like we've already gone on over that and then the previous uh, Optimizing Armor episode. They're short, they, they're not very pretty to look at because they're not readable in the sense that it's not easy to decipher what this even means unless you actually look for the actual value of the function or variable. But you guys, you guys get what I mean. Like I said, white spaces are not always necessary in your code, and many of them are unnecessary. And so, going, you're writing your code without those needless white spaces, as, as I call them, makes a difference, and it makes an improvement to your mission. It's just another step forward in optimizing your code, and you don't have to do this. It's not a mandatory optimization to your scripts. It's just a way to optimize your scripts, and I apply this optimization to all of my scripts. So. Use my scripts as an example if that's what you want to try to pursue. But if you don't want to optimize your scripts in this small way, then that's fine. Because it really isn't a major optimization. However, like I've been saying, Armor 3 is a very... It's an optimized game, but it, it still needs mon many more optimizations. And so many optimiza optimizations we make as scripters in our mission really makes a con contribution to the way the game runs in the end. So every optimization really... Can, uh, cannot be taken for granted. It needs all the op optimizations it can get. Anyway, sorry for going on a tangent about all this other shit. Um, hopefully the video was helpful to you guys and hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. If you need any more guidance, then just post in the comment section below and I'll try to help you out if you need any help or clarification. But for the most part, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Just wanted to explain to you guys the optimization of needless white spaces. Anyway, Hopefully the video was helpful. If it was, great, like it. If it wasn't helpful, then you can dislike it and tell me what the fuck, uh, how this was not helpful to you, or how you don't understand what is going on, or why you oppose this idea. Anyway, there are trucks pulling in and out outside my fucking house, so frunk out.